Rumble to level six and force something in bottom lane, which is almost guaranteed because you have Kalista Annie. Start, they're gonna end almost right away. Edward Gaming actually lacking very heavily. It's too clear love though. The last wall. Two gank. Oh, level one the rocket, rocket jump. jump. Aggressive play, beautiful playback here as well. Wolf going down so low, he's burning first blood for Deft as Bang trying to get some damage back, but a level one Kalista. Careful, careful, oh, he can rocket jump back in. Hell. Another rocket jump gets a flash. Bang is gonna be okay though. Again, return. Bangy just lost the last like almost two minutes of jungle time here. He's not gonna be able to get this. The strong side invade here from Mako. EDG with a huge, uh -oh. huge early game. Oh, he doesn't have. Doesn't yeah, have Bangy actually <laughs> gonna pick that one up here as Maran's gonna come through as well. Clear love trying to get the damage down, but Wolf coming through with a stun up. Easy Hoon flashes forward. Mako so incredibly low. Easy Hoon's gonna pull on to death. Rocket jump gonna be used. Dragon just gonna get a bit upset at the EDG members. That is the first time I've seen a flash pull for CC. <laughs> that is epic from Easy Hoon. Clearly match up the way they would want to. Meanwhile, though, Banky making an early move up top. Oh, he yeah, uses there's the a flash. flash knock up there as well as the, is the equalizer. So good at it is Marin and Koro tries to bounce away. Ziv impression not working this time. Level six here, uh, spike from Sejuani. Good Very Banky powerful in the two versus two. No uh, rage bar Marin. charging up. There we go, Megan R bar is almost there. Clear Love does have the ulti. Marin's not gonna be able to dodge this. Puts the equalizer down, stunned to the wall. Bangy actually tanks the glacial uh, attack, but it's still gonna be a kill picked up by Clear Love. Koro chased out by Bangy, but not enough damage from the center of Hulk Rek'Sai. Means a kill still comes through to Edward Gaming. Yeah. Left unattended, both with when both junglers show on the opposite side of the map. It's good. Oh, this is a very good yeah, hook, but the TP's already there. Hook. A nice buster shot here as well as Defty's going oh! to comes through with a beautiful teleport. He ran back towards the lantern to try and grab it. He could have just walked back. Big misplay there. Amazing stun comes out from Wolf to make sure that he needs to have smite as Bengi is being able to just to eat that one down. Bengi is going to see. Got fire from two different champions. Perfect. The power of blood. All right, Captain Planet. Bottom. Yeah, I was going to say, is this Captain Planet now? Equalizer in the bottom lane, though. Kara looking to try and turn it around, of course. Megadar, oh, watch out, Marin. Yeah, there it is. Marin into the wall. Bengi's found his way in. Kara, he's going to get knocked up. Really wants to find the kill. The minions helping out just a little bit as Kara's just wandering around. There's the oh. But doesn't get it as he gets burnt down by Marin. The Marin. Like, go ahead, sorry. No, that just should mean that they can uh, move on this mid lane here. Uh, play attempt with the member dead, of course, teleport is still at Mako, really wants it on Easy Hoon, but Easy Hoon still has all of his summoners. Flash comes in, in the chain CC coming through, Ignite is on, Clear Love wants to finish off the kill, but Easy Hoon's gonna ghost away. There's a stun from Timbers, the kill's not gonna come through. That's another kill picked up, now oh, Devin oh. wants it, knocks it back, still can't get the kill. Easy Hoon picks up one for the team. Edward Gaming starting to get sloppy. Yeah, you don't yeah, know he, he was so hungry for that reset though, it was so close. Just didn't get there, if that was a crit. That team fight win not only is it going to be the mid turret, but very easy Baron here for SKT, and that is heartbreaking for an EDG team. Kind of killing off most of the spell damage that Def had as well. And Bang now with that Shiv completed. Ooh. Is it two items? There's a beautiful equalizer taking half of Mako's health. Pawn also falling on Shilling Smite onto Mako. He's going to die as Marin burns him down, and SKT just with so much control over this map and Ooh. have that split pushing threat. But if EDG decide not to go to that area and head off Marin. No, this is good. They can jump on him. Glacial Prison use is going to be almost for sure a kill. And with four members still top lane, they can maybe get even more off. This dragon is up, but SKT switch back to push down the mid lane and Edward Gaming half the play to SKT's tune. Instead of getting nothing while losing the dragon yep. and possibly losing their lives. Well, definitely does the now. He was backing on a ward there as well as Wolf comes around, wants to find even more CC as Bang. Ooh! Yeah, cute Bang. little hop over the Gromp as Bengi trying to come through. There's, in fact, the Fates call. They really want this kill as Koro. The Hex Triggers pop. Nice nah to stop Benji, Bengi from getting anything going, but is he going to be okay? There's a Lantern ignored again, and Mako just wants his team to take one of his Dark Passages. Like, please, someone. I to safety, but that's a half health jungler here in SKT. They could just get straight on the Baron. It's in fact already been started. Bang doesn't want to waste any time here. Let's get knocked up super high into the air, but the Baron has a whole lot of arrows in it. I'm right. gonna peel off because EDG have found their way around. Clue have decided he didn't want to back. Half he health can. is enough. 
Oh, and Myron actually looking to take something through. Oh my goodness, Pawn somehow surviving that. But not for long here as Bangs found him. There's Koro looking for something. Does get the sun against the wall, but instantly QSS as Mako looking to try and catch on to Bangy, but he, not even sure whether he wants to do that one as EDG are just melting. Bang wants to find a way back into the team fight. Deft at half health. Koro, you are most definitely dead. And Deft forced to use the rocket jump very defensively. Clear of surviving here for now, but that is three kills as EDG were trying to escape that whole time. See if they can actually retreat and grab a neutral objective after this fight are down. Edward Gaming honestly have room to make a really risky Baron play. So now they've got complete pressure on bottom lane and nobody can go answer without recalling. So SKT keeping up the pressure in the mid lane. Yeah, Blink coming in from Maron as well. well. Beautiful ultimate from Cleela. Look at the Equalizer in the backside though. On top of the Hemo Plague as well. This is what this comp's supposed to do. Oh, Melting. wow. And SKT's doing triple kill for Easy Hoon. And SKT, they can win the game. That was stunning. Zonia's in pool. SKT is walking forward. Surrender vote comes out. 33 minutes, 33 seconds. SK Telecom T1, 2-0 on the day so far. That was just such beautiful play. And EDG, they just look match up. They tried to get lane swapped situations so that NAR could more or less hold on to a 1v2 and Tristana could go knock turrets down. But SK Telecom T1 kept finding the matchup. They used the Callista Annie to completely brutalize that fortress on a Thresh lane. The level, there's just so much pressure that comes from a Callista Annie lane. Yeah. Ridiculously hard to work around. It just, it makes you have to make these really, really difficult choices.